Whoa. Right, folks, how are we all? 8th of October, 2023, just been around Morrison's. Now, there's, there's this thing about Kevin Keegan, and it's bugging me at the moment. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to read this, and I'm going to drive back home. Uh, the people, are, the, the media are at him. They're at him, aren't they? Let's face it. The media, the weak, weaky woke left fucking side of everything who don't want you to have an opinion are at him. They're trying to wipe him out. The, you know, the, the, he's got an opinion. He's a free man. It's a free country. He's got an opinion, pretty much as I have. Uh, and he said, basically, what he said is. Um, I don't like list. I don't like to listen to ladies talking about the England men's team at the match because I don't think it's the same experience. I have a problem with that. The organisation of women in football who is dedicated to advancing women's ambitions within the game have accused Keegan of advocating a kind of gender apartheid. Bullshit! Bullshit! Keegan has played at the highest level of the footballing world. And, yeah, the men's game is dramatically different to the women's game, yeah? If women want to... You see, the problem I've got is that... The, 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 I've got a couple of things with this, to be fair. Um, one is the fact that the media are just trying to batter Keegan down. All these reports are saying Keegan's taken a backlash of his opinion of women in men's football. No, he hasn't. You go onto social media, you go onto Facebook and Twitter and other sites and the newspapers that are reporting on this and you read the comments and no, it ain't. I would say 95% of the comments actually um, agree with Keegan. They don't the, the fed up of being forced to accept things. In my opinion, my humble opinion, um, Kelly Cates and Helen Chamberlain are the only women that really I, I would listen to. I'm not an expert on football. I've been a local manager for local sides and stuff, but I'm not an expert. I like. But when you're watching a football game and then the, the experts come on, you want to listen to somebody who's played at that level, yeah? Now, I don't really, I can't really see, it's like what Keegan says, if a woman says, oh, if I was in that situation, well, you're not in that situation here, love. You're not in it. You've never been in that situation. You've been in your situation. The men's game's faster, harder, the men are more powerful and everything in it. The the women played at the US. I mean that fucking silly Bintu's fucking retired from the American game. Can't be doing that. Um, but um, the American team played against a, a Wrexham team, didn't they? And they got absolutely fucking battered. They were there giving it. Oh, you're going down. No, I fucking don't think so. Don't think so, love. In fact, there was an American uh, women's team. Was it the US, the national team or so? And they got battered by the, the, the youth team something. Yeah. They're not, it's not the same. And, and this is what Keegan's saying. He, he's not saying get rid of the women's game or anything. He's just saying that he doesn't see why our woman's opinion on the football is there. But what it is also about is that the, the media are trying to force you to have their opinion. If you don't agree with them, they will try and cancel you. It's like me with this, it's like me with this stop oil and just use oil, right? It's, if you go against it, you're a bad man. Fuck off! Not a bad man, not a fucking bad man. Just because I want to use a fucking van, drive me van and everything, <coughs> while all these dickheads are flying around in the private jets, Rushy Sunak trying to be Prime Minister and there he is in his private jet. Fuck off, Rushy, you fucking prick. And this is what this is about now. I agree with Keegan. Millions of people agree with Keegan. 
but the media now are just trying to fucking wipe him out of existence by saying he's backwards, he's out of touch. He's not out of touch at all. The only ones out of touch are you fucking lot who are trying to force things on us. And it won't happen. The people won't have it. The public won't accept it. We don't want to hear this fucking bullshit. Yeah, but if women want to play football, play football. Why? Why not? Do it. I never watched any of the Women's World Cup. Never watched it because it don't fucking appeal to me. It don't appeal to me. I didn't watch any of the men's World Cup apart from the few games that me and Scott did on the uh, live commentary thing, watch along. Yeah, because it don't fucking interest me. They're all a bunch of fucking hypocrites. Not bothered, don't care. But what I do care about is when the media are actually trying to force this on us and say, you know, if you don't agree with us, we will fucking cancel you. We will try and get you out of the fucking public eye line. Eye line, blur, fame, whatever it is. They will do it. And this is how it is. This is how it's going with Russell Brand. Because Russell Brand is saying things that the media and the fucking governments don't agree with, they're getting it. All right. If Russell Brand is what he is, right, what the media are accusing him of, let's get the fucking police involved. Let's do it. But no, they won't. They can, this is... Hillary Clinton said this the other week, a smear thing, uh, a smear job or a smear fucking whatever. Yeah, was it Hillary Clinton or some other fucking American fucking arsehole bitch? Yeah, and what they do is they smear you in the press and that's it, you're done. But the trouble is now, well it's not trouble, it, the good thing is, is that people can see this. Alex Scott, yeah I like her, she's alright. Well, I'm not particularly keen on her doing football focus. And if and from the viewing figures show, a lot of people are the same. They don't want it. Stop forcing it on us. They seem to, it's like the BBC are thinking, I know if we put a woman there, men will watch it because it's a woman. And that's what men are. They're all male chauvinist sexist pigs. No, I want to watch football. Will you fuck off? I want to watch football, yeah. And I want to be talked to or have experts' opinions. Part, well, Paul Merson lost it the other day. Well, he weren't really, did he? Paul Merson was, in a way, right, but he was wrong. And that referee who sat there went, yeah, well, you've lost your fucking mind. That's a yellow card, Merson. Should have pulled a yellow card out. That would have been funny. But I want to listen to people who have actually played the game. Yeah? I want, I want to listen to the person who's played the game, who's been there. I want to listen to Roy Keane. I want to listen to Alan Shearer. Yeah? Because they've been there. They've been at the pinnacle of the top. Yeah? They've won trophies. They've been there. Well, Shearer's only won. I think Jamie Vardy's won more than Alan Shearer, to be fair. Yeah? But this is what it is. The media just wants us to go along with their fucking way. They want to brainwash you into thinking that like them and if you don't go along with it they will fucking do you they will do you and I'm fed up with it Keegan is right I don't want to listen to a woman talking about an England's game I don't and I won't because I don't watch it just won't watch it because it doesn't compare to the woman's game just don't do it now, some of you might agree with me. Some of, I, I was talking to my mate Mark, who I went to London to Brighton the video with. Yeah, in the minis. And he, he says that Keegan's out of touch. And I went, I'm sorry, mate, I'm going to have to disagree with you. Because Keegan is not out of touch. We don't need it. There is, there is hundreds of men who have played Premier League football and football for their countries. Yeah? So why do we have to go to women? Is it just this box ticking that the BBC and all these other companies want to do? Oh yeah, we, we, we show that we care, we show that we're in touch. You're not in touch. I'm fed up with the Premier League, I don't watch that. I don't, I'm, I'm just fed up with the whole of football. In fact, I'm fed up with the whole of everything being of us being forced to accept whatever. How long's it gonna be now before we've got fucking Dylan Mulvaney fucking commenting on fucking...
Manchester United v Arsenal. Yeah? How long's it gonna be before that? And somebody says, you're obsessed with Dylan Mulvaney. No, I'm not obsessed with Dylan Mulvaney. I'm obsessed with the fact that we're being told what to accept, what's right and what's wrong. And, and the other thing as well is, is that people, five years ago, people were scared to voice their opinion, yeah? People were scared to say what they actually thought about something because they thought that the friends, like if somebody went on Facebook and Twitter, yeah, and voiced their opinion, they were scared that the friends or the families might go against them, yeah? So they didn't say anything, but now what's happening is that, is that people are waking up. After the COVID debacle, yeah, people are waking up and saying, do you know what? I'm fucking fed up with this. So all the media, I do like those fucking new Land Rover Defenders. I really, really fucking like them Land Rover Defenders. I wonder how much a second hand one is. But anyway, they really have decided to say, fuck you. We're not listening anymore. We're not taking what you're saying. And this is, a, and it's little steps like this with Keegan, where people read the comments and they think, fucking hell, I'm not the only one thinking this. Why are everybody out, why is everybody else saying I agree with Keegan? Yeah? So people are actually growing a backbone. People are there. I must admit, when I was doing this fucking YouTube at the beginning, like, you play the game, you, do, you say what's right or what you think is right so that people don't go against you. But in the end, you get fed up with playing the fucking game. And this is what's happening. People are having enough. They've had enough. Uh, so yeah, put your comments down below. I'll be interested to know how many agree with me and how many don't agree with me. And if you don't agree with me, <laughs> if you do agree with me, fair enough. Righto, folks. Laters.